Hi friends, welcome to my channel Lotus Geek. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to fix your Windows security, which is showing that virus and threat protection is managed by your organization. Before proceeding, I request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to videos. Now let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. The very first th thing or the very first method that you need to do is to please uninstall any other known Microsoft antiviruses. For example, if you have installed any Avira antivirus, Norton antivirus or any Kaspersky antivirus, kindly uninstall all the third party antivirus from your computer and then check again if the problem is resolved or not. If the problem is still persist, we are going to proceed with second step. In second step, we are going to restore your Windows Defender to its default value. So for that, simultaneously press Windows and R key to open the run command and type here REG EDIT to open the registry editor and hit the enter button. Once the registry editor is open, you need to locate a file in H key local machine software in software find policies expand it in policies choose microsoft and in microsoft choose windows defender once you find the windows defender double click on disable anti spyware and from here choose its value or change its value from 1 to 0 hit the ok button and close the registry editor and restart your PC and check whether the problem is resolved or not. If still after doing this your problem is not resolved, we are going to proceed with third step. In third step again, we are going to modify your registry values. This time we are going to proceed to another location which is HK local machine system. In system choose current control set, again expand it, here choose services and in services choose security health service. It will be in alphabetical view. This one is the security health services. In security health services. In this right pane, choose the start registry, open it and choose its value. If you have two value or three value, change its value to two and click on the OK button. Secondly, proceed to the Windows Defender, Win Defender. Again, it will be in alphabetical view. So find Win Defender. This one is Win Defender and again open start and change its value from 2, 4 to 2. My value is default by 2, so I let it be 2. Thirdly, find WDN. This one is the third service. Again, open the start registry and change its value from 3 to 2 and hit the OK button. And lastly, the registry is MPSSVC. MPSSVC. Again, open the start and change its value from 4 to 2. I have value default is 2, so I let it 2. If you have another value, make sure the value must be 2. Now close the registry editor and restart your PC and check the problem is resolved or not. By now, your problem must be resolved. If not, we are going to proceed to the step number 4. For that click on the start menu and type here CMD. Run CMD as an admin mode only. When the CMD is open, you need to delete a registry using the command prompt. I will provide this registry in the description below so that you can directly copy and paste over here like I did over here. After that hit the enter button. Now it is asking delete the registry value yes or no. Simply write 
Y button and hit the enter button to delete the registry. At my end, my antivirus is running properly, so I am not going to delete it. But at your end, you should delete this registry. This one is the fourth step that you need to perform. If still the problem persists, we are going to the last step. For the last step, you need to open run command and type here gpedit.msc and hit the enter button. Whatever command I use over here, I'll provide you in the description below so that you can easily copy them and paste over here. Once the group policy editor is open, you need to locate a location in computer configuration. In computer configuration, you need to choose administrative template, expand it and from here choose windows component, microsoft defender antivirus. This one is the microsoft defender antivirus then in this right pane there is the option of turn off microsoft defender antivirus. Double click on it to open it. Make sure over here it should be by default not configured. If it is enabled or disabled make sure you choose not configured. So this one is the last or the fifth step that you need to do in order to resolve this issue. If still the problem persists kindly comment below and I'll there to support you at every step and I'll provide you more ways to fix this issue. So that's it about it friends. If you like my tutorial, if you like my video, I request you to please click on the subscribe button to continue watching more such tech and how to videos. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching.